This video is going to be a breakdown of high versus low sensitivity in Fortnite. Which one's going to be better? Which one's going to be worse? What I recommend to players going forward, whether you play arena, comp, or you're just casual gaming. I'm going to go into a deeper analysis about high versus low sensitivity and overall have a nice discussion. I'm also going to share my recommendations at the end of the video so you guys know exactly what I think. The thing that gives me a little credibility on this topic is the simple fact that I've been playing keyboard and mouse for around three years. Not only that, but here's a couple of just the controllers I have in my room and I've been playing on controller for a decent amount as well. When it comes to Fortnite, I have literal tips and tricks for everything and I've been studying the game for a while. Console and PC have been things I've been playing on ever since I was a kid. When you're talking about controller, I've even played double claw on PS4, I played single claw on Xbox, I played with four paddles, I played with two paddles. So if anything, I think I know a pretty decent amount about high versus low sense, how to find sensitivity, and I'm just going to be able to give you guys a good recommendation that have a strong meaning to them because I have all this experience on all these variations of inputs. When it comes to Fortnite, there's controller and there's keyboard, without say. The thing about controller is that they have the editing, the build building sense and the overall aiming sense as well. We all know this by now, but that's one of the reasons why on controller, you don't really need a high or low sense because you can kind of balance the two. When it comes to keyboard and mouse, you literally use your whole arm and there's no difference between building, editing, and aiming. So really quickly, that's one of the two main differences between the inputs. Just remember one specific thing when you're talking about high versus low sense. When it comes to high sense, one of the main reasons why I think people can play on high sense is because their targeting sensitivity, aka like their tracking sensitivity when they're spraying someone out of the air can be really low. No matter which input you're on, whenever you hold down your aim button, you can change that sensitivity compared to when you're editing, building, or doing anything different. This is one of the main reasons why a lot of mouse and keyboard players have insanely cracked building and editing and end aim especially because they're able to aim down their shotgun whenever they're trying to shoot someone. So if you build really fast and all that jazz, the second you aim down your shotgun, your targeting sense can be really low. Because it's really low, it's going to mean you're going to line up shots even easier. Even if you are on controller, it's the same kind of concept. But the thing is, when you really think about it, is that always how it happens? Are people who play on high sense always aiming down whenever they shoot a shotgun? The answer to that is probably no. Now, when you're starting out, I bet that's the smarter thing to do without say. But the thing is, once you start developing that muscle memory for that high sense over a long period of time, that's when you're going to start to realize that your aim might be developing into something different. A lot of people will come to me and they'll literally ask me, yo, Ken, I just started the game. What's my sensitivity? What do I do? The first thing I tell them is to go watch one of my sensitivity videos. I have one for controller and keyboard and mouse. But realistically, Basically, just a general rule of thumb, when you start playing the game for the first time, you want your sensitivity to be as low as possible. My mindset behind that is to really slow yourself down. That way you can understand the mechanics of the game even better. Think of it like a sport for just one second. I used to play basketball back in the day and my coaches would always tell me to start out really slow so you can get the fundamentals down. Fundamentals, fundamentals, fundamentals. That, that, that term has been drilled into my brain more than anything in the world. When it comes over to Fortnite, if you start out really slow and learn the mechanics of the game really nicely, by the time you get some hours and hours and hundreds of hours on this game, you're going to be able to increase your sensitivity little by little. But in turn, when it gets to like a long run later down the road, your sensitivity is going to be pretty fast, but to a certain point where it's just going to be, it's going to look cracked. The thing is though, you got to be thinking about your sensitivity a lot, but don't blame yourself for missing your shot. Even people who start out thinking they're really cracked at the game, think about how much better they would be if they started out with a very strong base of fundamentals. This sounds like some Tim Duncan type stuff, but if you literally started out the game doing everything really slow and then over time build up your mechanics to just be super fast kind of like 99 percent of the people who play this game they start out doing all their edits really slow even the pros if you watch them back in the day all their edits were really slow now i don't know what everyone played on whether it was high or low sense but in your opinion what do you truly think you think it's better to start out with a low sense you can understand more of what you're editing and what's going on in front of you so that way by the time you get like two maybe four, maybe even six months into the game, you're gonna be able to pick stuff up way faster. So when your brain is thinking faster than your hands, maybe you should increase your sense just a little bit to play in that higher sensitivity. Because in that case, my brain is telling me that my hands are slow. So my hands are slow because I'm on such a low sensitivity. One of the most clear cut ways to tell this is that if you're in some sort of game and you whiff a shot, let's say you shot the guy. I'm going to show this on screen. So let's say I shot someone, but I was to the left of them. That means that my sensitivity was pretty much too slow and I rushed the shot because my brain was thinking faster than my hand. So if I raise my sense just a little bit, I'm going to be able to snap to things faster. That way my brain can keep up with my hands. Most people are going to fall into this trap of when they get their first PC, for example, they're going to see that, oh my God, I'm on PC. I can finally turn my sense up through the roof. And that way I'll build and edit and do all these crazy things like Raider and Face Sweat. The reality of it is you need to tell yourself that you're just not that guy. Everyone starts at the bottom. Yeah, you're going to have really good editing and building and all that, but is your aim going to be at the level that you want it? I would say I play on a pretty low sense.
intense compared to others. You know the main reason why I decided to switch to kind of a low sensitivity? No matter what you play, if you're the type of person to get really nervous when you're playing, then high sensitivity is not for you. And let me tell you why. Think about for one second when you're nervous, what do you tend to do? Lots of people are jittery, they jerk their screen, and they do all this crazy stuff. Micro adjustments on high sensitivity, no matter if you're on controller or keyboard and mouse, it's gonna screw you up and it's gonna make you more nervous than you actually are because now you're whiffing shots. You're doing stuff that your brain is not really thinking. Your hands are now faster than your brain, so which in turn tells you that you don't know the mechanics and the fundamentals that well. If you're this type of player, I would be lowering my sensitivity until the point where I feel comfortable hitting shotgun shots and spraying people with an SMG up close. In my opinion, beaming people from far away is good and all, but if you can't box fight someone, you're gonna have a very tough time playing this game. That's one of the main reasons why I play on a low sensitivity. Hear me out though, I've tried a lot of sensitivities on Fortnite. One of the main things that stopped me from getting to that too low point was that a lot of times I would be choking edits. I'm gonna demonstrate this in Create. If you're getting pressured and trying to make really up close and personal edits and you might be choking a lot, that might be a good sign that your sensitivity is a little too low. You wanna find that balance to where you're perfectly centered in front of a wall and when you're kind of really close to it. What I think the meta is for high versus low sensitivity is that there shouldn't be such a thing. I think the best thing to do is to look for that gray area in between the two. Palazzo was talking about this in his last sensitivity video. Let's say hypothetically that you're looking to improve a lot at the game. So what you do, you go around, you copy other pro settings. You need to understand that, yeah, you can copy a pro sensitivity because they have a lot of experience on the game. They might know what works. But the thing is, you need to mold that sensitivity into your own. You should be going into creative and testing out which sensitivity feels best for you so screw the high and low sensitivity bs go into creative and find the gray area for yourself that way if you become cracked you're going to be the person that everyone wants your settings and you're going to blow up high versus low sensitivity in my opinion is a complete myth in my opinion there should be a strong balance between the two but your aiming is always going to be the most important in fortnite my mechanics are not even nearly as cracked as half the people out there on fortnite i use my brain more than i use my mechanics because that's what's going to win me fights in the long run everyone knows nick Merckx, and just think about why he was always competing in these fortnite event let's be honest his mechanics were not the greatest but his aim is what really separated him even though the aim assist was crazy back in the day he was really able to nail kids in the head and get kills he was playing angles and making the right type of edit in certain situations nothing too fancy will get the job done in almost 99 percent of fights so that's my recommendation to you to figure out the gray area in between the two just remember that this entire video was all about a discussion we're on the topic of sense and with that in mind it's only right that i tell you guys that i have a sense video for controller and keyboard and mouse whether they're a little old or not I promise you it's still very relevant because I teach you all the tips and tricks that I use when making my own sense. I encourage you to watch that video if you're even questioning your sense because it will give you a great idea about where to start. I just felt like there was something missing from this video because although I do want this to be a sense discussion, I want this to be almost like a guide to tell you what to do so you don't feel lost when you leave it. Shout out to everyone on the screen right now using code Kenbeans in the item shop. Don't forget to check out my merch link down below. Don't forget to check out the stream link down below. We popping off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or a good night. Peace.